Another beer review. So, today we have a beer from Howling Hops. It's a can of their wave machine, a West Coast pale ale with Centennial, Chinook and Cascade at 4.8% ABV. Uh, I know I've only just recently done a beer from this brewery on the channel. Like, you, well, the other day for me recording this, it'll be probably about two weeks ago, you watching this. But I've just been so impressed with them from this Brucer box I got. You know, I've had, this is my ninth of the ten beers they sent in that box, but yeah, I've just been really, really impressed with them. You know, the beers have been top, top quality, really well made. And, um, yeah, been super impressed. So, yeah, recommended, but yeah, so Wave Machine. Not much else info on the can, really, other than the hops, which are under the title. Get it into the old glass. So this is a West Coast pale. Most of the beers I've had from Howling Hops have been of the sort of New England persuasion, have been on the hazy side. There was a Goza as well. But eight out of the ten beers were sort of hazies, really. Uh, there was a Dipper, an IPA, six hazy pale ales, then this West Coast pale and a... Uh, the lemon and gooseberry goza, I think it was. That was quite nice, actually, the goza. I like that. But, yeah, looking at that, I mean, that's proper old-school colour-looking, sort of West Coast pale, that sort of like that sort of caramelly colour. With a sort of, um, a sort of off-white head. Yeah, lovely colour. Let's go in for the smell. So I'm getting lots of lemon, grapefruit, pine. Bit of like sweet resiny notes. Bit of orange. Bit of lime possibly. It's really citrusy smelling, really citrusy smelling. Might even be sort of like a little, there's a little sort of hint of the malt in there as well. A little bit of sort of caramelly, maybe sort of, no. No, it smells good, it smells good. Let's dive in. Yeah, that, that's, that's nice, actually. You know, that's a proper West Coast pale. You know, it's got that balance of the hops and the malts. You know, you got you got your sort of like your pithy hop notes and your sort of, and your sort of pine and your resin and your bitterness. But you've also got like a real caramelly, toffee malt note. Yeah, it's kind of um it's not dissimilar to a Sierra Nevada pale in sort of taste. Obviously a weaker ABV, but has that sort of similar level of balance to it. But yeah, you got as well as them sort of notes you got like you know, you got your sort of your lemony, piffy lemony, grapefruitiness. Yeah, I've got proper West Coast hops in there. Centennial, Chinook and Cascade. Yeah, proper old school pale ale, this one. That's really nice. Really enjoying this. Ridiculously drinkable. Leaves you wanting more each sip. It's kind of what you. It's kind of what you want, really. From a um, from a from a West Coast pale. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's good to see that Howling Hops can do the uh, other side, the other coast, if you like, well as well. And yeah, I continue to be really impressed with this brewery. 
really, really impressed. And certainly after that Brewster box, I'll be seeking out a lot, lot more of this brewery's beer. So yeah, to rate this, I'd probably give it. So yeah, thank you for watching. This has been a review of Wave Machine by Howling Hops, a West Coast Pale. Please drop us your thoughts below, uh, give us a like, and please subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.